So now I'm going to be doing the video challenge for day five. The challenge consists of doing sort of an artistic expression of a cover of a book. So this is the portrait of a rose that I used because it's so similar to the cover of Beauty by Robin McKinley. I hope you liked it. So I'm back at home now and I have finished The Wedding Girl by Madeline Wickham or as we better know her Sophie Kinsella and I give it 5 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. This book is about a girl that's going to get married but she has a secret and it was super fun. I really liked all the story and all the characters. I really recommend it if you want a contemporary read. I read this book for the meant to have been read last year challenge. So yeah, that's three challenges I've knocked off already. I have four books to go, but I'm pretty confident I can do it. Just because one is half read, the other is a graphic novel, so that's actually two books and a half. So yeah, I'm excited for it, and I'll talk to you guys later. So guys, it is now day six of the readathon. I didn't manage to film much of anything on day 5 because I was feeling terrible, I was super tired and also my stomach was hurting all day, so I didn't film much yesterday, but I did want to update you. I finished uh, Three Amazing Things About You and The Wedding Girl yesterday, I finished those two, and I also started on my purple book, which is the guest list by melissa hill so i'm not doing too terribly and i'm gonna update you all day today so it's currently 2 p.m and i'm on 150 pages into the guest list i'm actually really liking this this is contemporary about a couple who was getting married and there's all kinds of family stuff going on and i really like it and yeah i should be able to finish this today and there may be another book i'm not sure which one yet i'll keep you posted so i just finished the guest list by melissa hill i actually really liked it and i'm now gonna start the gathering light by jennifer donnelly i don't have it with me right now but i'll show you later so now i'm going to do the challenge for day six and the challenge is to spell your name with the first letter of the titles of books that are the same color. Now there's no way I could spell my entire name and all the books be the same color, so I just chose books with the same letter. I'm sorry if I kind of failed, but there was no way I could spell my entire name because my name is four, seven letters long, so it was a struggle to even find first letters. But let me show you, and also I'm gonna treat this like as a book recommendations kind of thing because I chose books that either I want to read and if anybody wants to read with me, they can let me know or I have read and I really love them. So yeah, let's start. So my name is Natasha and for the N, I chose New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Now I have not read the Twilight series yet, but I really want to because it's like a classic in YA. So the next letter of my name is A. And for A, I chose An Ember in the Ashes by Sebastian Tahir. Now, I have read this book. This is an amazing fantasy book. I love it so much. And I still have to read books two and three in this series, but I'm so excited to do that. And then, the third letter of my name is T. So for T, I chose They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Now, this book. I was not expecting this book to hit me as much as it did. Uh, this book is amazing. This book is set in our world, but the only difference is that um, when you're going to die, you get a call from this company that tells you, hey, you're gonna die in the next 24 hours, and the two main protagonists get this call, and <laughs> I didn't think it would, this would hit me as much as it did. It's amazing. Read it. It's a contemporary. And the next letter of my name is A again, for which book I chose it to be Alberto's Lost Birthday by Diana Rossi. This is a historical fiction book set in Spain, which I really loved, about a man who's in the Spanish Civil War, but never knew his family or never knew even his birthday. So he and his grandchild go to an adventure to know all this, and this book is absolutely amazing. I really recommend it. Then for the S in my name, I chose the one and only Shatter Me by Taha Ramafi. We all love this book. I don't think I have to explain what it's about. I still will just in case somebody wants to read this. This book is about a girl 
well, it's a dystopian book, and this book is about a girl who has a superpower, not superpower, but if she touches you, you die, and I just, I love this series so much, I have still yet to read the new additions to the series, like, after Ignite Me, and I'm really excited to do that. Now for the H in my name, this was a hard one, because I think this is the only book I own that starts with an H, but it is Hard Laughter by Anne Lamott. Now, I have no clue what this is about. I just I found it like on a bench one day when I was on the street I, and I just took it and, and figured I'll read it and if I hate it, I can just unhaul it. But yeah, I have no clue what this is about, but I do want to read it. I believe it's historical fiction, so yes. And lastly, for the third A in my name, I chose After Anna by Alex Lake. And this book is quite an amazing thriller. I actually really liked it. And this thriller is about a little girl who goes missing and her parents obviously are very distraught and yeah that's what happens but the real like it says it on the back like the real nightmare begins when the girl reappears and like it was really good I really recommend this if you're looking for a good thriller hi guys so long time no see it is officially day seven now and after I finished the guest list yesterday, I didn't read anything else, but I did pick up the Geronimo Stilton book this morning for the read in the same spot the entire time. I'll be reading this on my lounge bed. So yeah, I'm more than halfway through. It's a children's book, it's nothing special. But yeah, and I still have four more books to read. I have to read this one, I have to read the five or more words in the title, which I'll show you later which books I'm gonna read. And also I have to read and not uh, finish the short stories book for the non-human main character and also read uh, an author's first book which is going to be The Catcher and the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I don't know if I can read those four books today because in this one I have a hundred pages left. This one's a picture book, I can finish it quickly. The other book, which is the five or more words in the title, is fairly short too. So I hope I can do this. I have until 12 o'clock, let's see. So I just finished this book, it was okay, just a, ch a short children's book. And yeah, it was. I'll give it three stars, it was okay. And now I'm going to try to finish this book. I have 100 pages left. And let's see how we go. So whilst I'm reading, I'm gonna be snacking on carrots dipped in uh, beetroot hummus. I'm excited about that. It's really good. So guys, now I'm going to do the video challenge for day seven. It's the last day. I'm pretty sad, but I'm determined to finish my seven books today. I still have a book and a half to get through. It's about 7 p.m. I have five hours still. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to do the challenge now, and it is to share a story about the best book recommendation you've gotten. And I have a number of these because I love so many books. So the first one I talked about in my previous video, this is Number in the Ashes by Sabata here. And both of these books were recommended to be by Sasha Allsberg at a Book Utopia. I love her, she's my favorite booktuber of all time. I'm sad that she doesn't read as much now and doesn't do booktube as much but I hope she gets back on the train and I just love her so much so anyways a couple or maybe even more years ago she recommended this book on her channel she really loved it and I picked it up and I literally adored this book this book is a not a, it's kind of fantasy kind of not like it's not it's, it's not high fantasy, but it's kind of fantasy. And it's in this world where a lot of people are slaves. And there are two main characters. One is Laia. Is your name Laia? Yes. One is Laia. Sorry, I read this like three years ago. Uh, one is Laia, and she's a slave. And she has to go work at this soldier school. And there she meets Elias, who is a soldier. And none of them agree with the system in this world. So yeah, and they get together and I love it and I need to read the rest of the series. And another series that I was recommended by BookTube, I don't remember who, no, it wasn't Sasha who recommended this to me. I don't remember who recommended it, but I know that I love it. I don't have the first book here because I lent it to a friend, so I'm just going to show books two and three. And those are the, what's it called, the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. 
I love these books so much. She was so amazing. I did not expect to like these as much as I did. So I'm going to talk about first book. The first book is set in a world where the earth is basically done for and people are starting to go to other planets to be able to live and a ship went to this planet and in, on this strange planet uh, there was a disease that killed all the women and made the men like all their thoughts could be heard by everyone so yeah that's uh that's what happened and the main character is a boy whose mother died and he's in this town and it's just i'm so mind blown by the way that this series starts super boring super shitty you're like what the fuck can happen here but then it just it it's it expands so much more than you could ever expect like it, oh my god i love it i love it so much if you like even it's not really a sci-fi book just please read it like it's, it's not even sci-fi it is slightly sci-fi but there's not many sci-fi elements in it it's just so good and adventurous i love it Hi guys, so it is the last day of the reading rush as I told you earlier and I know I'm late to it but I really want to do the books in Lala scavenger hunt so that's what I'm gonna do now in real time with you guys. Okay, so the first prompt is stars. This was easy. In They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. You can kind of see the stars there. Number two is upside down. I really don't know what this means but i saw someone use city of bones so i'm just gonna use city of bones for it by cassandra clear because i really don't understand this prompt next is the letter x so many books and i don't have this well i don't i'm sorry uh fire and i'm burned the ashes by sabata here the letters are kind of on fire but i'll try and look for another one does this have fire? Well, A Torch Against the Night by Sabate also has kind of like sparks. Yeah, I think those two are gonna have to make it. <laughs> Next is Pretty Font. Hmm. Honestly, I love like all the font in the Lunar Chronicles. I also adore it. I also really like John Green's font. Like, I really also like John Green's font. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Number six is Rain or Snow. By the way, the ones that I failed, please comment down below examples. Because I might even have those, but I'm just so stupid. Ah, I know what I'm gonna use. Yes. I am gonna use Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. See, it has snow, kind of. And by the way, this copy is terrible. I need to get a new one. My dog basically had this for breakfast one day, so that's why it's so terrible, but don't worry. I love this series. I'm gonna get a new copy of Unravel Me. So yeah, number seven is Chaos. This one's easy. The Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. I don't have the first book right now because I left it to a friend. But yeah, here we have it. Next, um, number eight is beverage. Are you serious? I have food, but I don't have beverage. So yeah, another one failed. <laughs> number nine is green. Well, I have this Spanish, not poem, but kind of like, it's sort of a poem collection. I really like it. This is called Casa Sin Carrer by the Freds. If you can read Spanish, I really recommend it. But let's choose an English green book. I also have uh, The Red Town Room by Lemony Snicket. This is the second book in this year's Unfortunate Events. It's it's a green spy. Do I have an entirely green book? Oh, I do. My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult. This is pretty green. Okay, I think we've covered that one. For number 10 is oldest book. I'm gonna choose one of my ladybird fairy tales from when I was a kid. This is the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'm gonna choose that one. And I'm also gonna choose one of my mother's Russian books 
because these are pretty old too. Um, this one is called Lilovi Costume by Victoria Tokareva. I have no clue what this is about, it's my mother's, but it's pretty old. Like, this was before any of my other books. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that covers it. Uh, I also have first edition copies of the Russian version of Harry Potter. I love an open mouth. This is easy. For open mouth, I can use this short story collection of vampires. As you can see, it's a pretty open mouth. Pretty open. Next. Number 12 is animal. Well, I can reuse this one because it has bears, but let's choose a different one. I have, well, it's not an animal, it's an insect. My Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. It has a butterfly. I'm gonna try like find an actual animal, not an insect. I'm just gonna have to go with the three little pigs from Ladybird. You have pigs there. It's gonna have to roll. Um, next is free space, which I assume you can sh show any book you want. So I'm just gonna, which one am I gonna? I'm just gonna use Eleanor Park by Rainbow Rowell, because I really like this book. It's an amazing contemporary. Number 14 is fruit and veggie. I wish I had the orange manga because I could use that, but honestly, I don't have anything that's fruit and veggie. No, I'm just gonna skip that one. Uh, 15 is Joy. Now, is that a book that brings me joy or that has a happy cover? I don't know. Honestly, I'm just gonna choose Falling by Jane Green just because it's so like lovey-dovey and pink and happy. Number 16 is Space. I know that Golden Sun by Pierce Brown takes place in space, but I don't have one with an actual like spacey cover. Like also, a lot a big part of the Lunar Chronicles is space related, and also the Chaos Walking. So I'm just gonna use those three. Seventeen, the number eight. I'm just gonna use the eight book in the series. And the series I'm going to use is the series of Fortune Events by Leonie Slickett and the 8th book is The Hostile Hospital. I love this series as you can probably tell. So yeah, next is 18 is Stripes. Oh! This, the, the Spine of Leaving Time by Jodie Pickle has kind of stripes. Yeah, I'm just going to use that one because I do not have another one. Number 19 is Creature. I can use Many Bloody Returns by Charlene Harris. It's a short story collection and a creature is a vampire. Right on the cover, he's a candle on a birthday cake. I really wanna read this, it's, it's very interesting. Oh, this is probably the short story collection I'm gonna read for the news, cause I didn't, cause I think I didn't have any. Um, 20 is Month or Day. <gasps> yes, I have Calendar Girl by Audrey Carlan, April, May, and June. Each of the books, like there's four books, and each of them contain three months. So yeah, got that. Uh, 21, Flowers. Three Amazing Things About You by Jill Mansell has flower corners. On the back too. Good. Um, 22 is Wings. I'm gonna call that quits because I doubt it. 23 is newest book you have purchased. I have four of these which I purchased like a week. Not even a week. I think I purchased them on Thursday. It's now Sunday. The latest four books that I purchased are, you'll, you'll see them in my haul, but the Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. The Almost Moon by Alice Sebold. And Faking It by Cora Carmack. I don't have one US book, I just I bought four of them at the same time. 24, Reflection. I know I don't have this. 25 is Short Title. I do have this. 
I have Us by David Nichols. Two letters, it's pretty short. So yeah, that is it. I will do my marathon wrap up in a while. Well, I'll, no, actually, I'm just gonna tell you what I finished because I wanna do a separate video for the wrap up. So I'm just, now I'm just gonna tell you the other book I finished that I didn't tell you. And the book I finished is the short story collection. I finished, fuck, I finished this book. I'll tell you my wrap up, all that I ended up reading. And let me just say, I really enjoyed this readathon and I'm so excited for any others to come. I really enjoyed the reading rush. It didn't go as well as I hoped to reading wise, but I still had so much fun and I loved interacting with all of you guys. Please like and subscribe and comment down below how you did.